Hey everybody, I'm Paul Jarvis. I am one of the co-founders of Fathom Analytics. And today I want to talk to you about how our dashboard for site analytics works, walk you through all the features of it. And I know it's just one screen, but there is a lot of data packed into that one screen. So first I just want to say what Fathom is, just in case you're wondering, just in case you were searching for cat videos and ended up here. YouTube's algorithm is kind of weird that way. So Fathom is a simple privacy focused analytics platform that gives you all of the data you need in your website analytics to run and manage your business, but without storing a whole bunch of personal data. And the reason, or I guess one of the reasons why we do this, other than believing that digital privacy is a fundamental human right, is that we like being GDPR compliant and we are GDPR compliant because we don't store personal data ever. And what that means for you is you don't have to use those annoying pop-up cookie notice things that you see on lots of sites if you use Fathom Analytics. So if you use our software, you don't have to have those annoying cookie notices because we are GDPR compliant. And that's one of the reasons thousands of customers use us and trust us for their website stats. And if you're not a customer already, maybe check out the seven-day free trial, which will be linked Below the video, as the kids say, let's get into this. Let's dive in to a walkthrough of the Fathom Analytics dashboard. So let's look. This is it. This is what you get if you're using Fathom. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, I designed it, so uh, I'm a little biased there, but I think it looks pretty nice. So the first thing is you see the site name up here. This is the site that you're looking at. Every Fathom plan comes with unlimited websites. So if I click on this, I can see these are all the sites. You can keep adding as many as you like. Next, we have current visitors, which I'll talk about in a second, and then the date range. So first, let's look at this little green dot. This little green dot means that the website is online. So if I go to the Chimp Essentials website, it's online. It's very yellow. So if this dot was red and you were a customer and had notifications set up, we monitor all of our customers' websites and we will email you or Slack you or Telegram you or text you if your site is offline. And so this would be a little red dot if it was offline. When it's online, for the most part, most of your websites stay online all of the time. Um, it's a green dot. The next thing here is current visitors. So as you can see, there are four people on our website right now on this Chimp Essentials website. If I click on current visitors, doesn't that look nice? It's this purple little box. So I can see that three unique people are on the lessons page and one unique person is on the home page. And I'll talk about uniques and page views in a minute. If you click on the visitors again, it hides the box for now. Click show, click hide. You get the point. Next is the date range here. So if you click anywhere on this date range, you can pick from these predetermined fields here so you can see seven days and the whole dashboard reloads click again you can click 30 days whole dashboard reloads i can say uh, maybe i want to do the fourth to the 14th and click apply so you can do a custom range here click apply and then that's what you see so date picker is good if you want to see well what were my stats for just a range that I want to see. You can also click all time and see all of the data all in one place, which can be pretty handy. For today, let's just look at the seven days. So across the top here, this is this dark gray box. This is the totals. So we have total site unique, so total unique people that came to the site, total pages that those people viewed, average time on site, bounce rate, which is how many people came to a page on your website and left without clicking on any other page. So that can be useful, but it's not always the most useful stat. And finally, the total goal completions. And all of these relate to this date range here. So if I change this date range, all of those numbers change as well. So always remember that all of the data relates to the date range at the top here. The graph also shows you page views and visits per day here, or if you change it to a different date range, you'll see it per some time period. So let's first, if we're diving into what the words all mean on the dashboard, let's first talk about uniques. So there are two kinds of uniques. There are site uniques and there are page uniques. So page uniques is what appears down here in all of these boxes. So uniques here, uniques here. These are uniques per page or uniques per referrer. 
referrer. That's really easy to say on a video. And up here, a unique is unique people per website. So unique people that came to the website, not including bots, and I'll talk about bots in a second. Next, we have views. So every time somebody loads a page on your website, that is a view. So these are the total site views. These are the total page views per page down here. So if I come to the website and I load two pages, that's one unique and two page views. So uniques get reset every 24 hours at UTC zero. And so every single day we collect uniques for 24 hours and then reset it at the end of the day. We are coming up with uh, an option for this where you can set your local time zone and uniques are tracked per your time zone 24 hours. But for now, that's how it works. So I do want to mention here that we block bots. So we look at the, the traffic that comes to your website and we filter out all of the all of the things that aren't human. So if something's scraping your website, we filter that out. So if you're looking at your stats and have both Google Analytics and Fathom Analytics installed, your numbers are going to be different because we filter out bots and Google Analytics doesn't really do that. We also have much more accurate stats because Google Analytics is blocked when any time that somebody uses an ad blocker. And because we offer a custom domain solution and you can go to our website and learn more about that, we can we're able to see much more traffic. We're able to get much more detailed views. So with Google Analytics, between 30 and 50% of people are excluded from Google Analytics because they use ad blockers. With Fathom and our custom domain solution, that's not the case. That's pretty awesome. Next up, we have the ability to show more or less data. So with Fathom, we always wanted it to be simple and its simplest form is this screen. You see totals, graph, content, referrers. If you click show more data here, now you see four more boxes. So device type, browser, country, and goals. And you can click it again and hide it. Or you can click it again and show it. You get the idea. Next up, we have site sharing. So if I click on this, right now, this dashboard, because this is our demo, it's viewable by anybody. So anybody that has this link can see this data. They can't go to the billing account on your account. They can't look at any other website. They can just look at this one dashboard. So it's pretty good if you want to share it publicly. If you're an open startup, you can do that. Next, you can say, I want this dashboard only viewable by people with the password. So if the password is chimp, they go to this URL and they have to enter this password to see the data. So it's public, but it's protected by a dashboard. Next, you can say, I just want this dashboard viewable by me when I log into my Fathom account. So this is what most people use because you don't want your data to be seen by everybody else. So this means your data is 100% private. You can only see it if you're logged in. Hopefully you have two-factor authentication enabled and is just for you. But I'm going to change this back to viewable by everybody because this is the demo. So next, we're going to look at the conversion rate for goals. So if we have goals and you can create as many goals as you want and found them, you can see what your conversion rate is. And conversion rate is really just page views divided by completions. And so goals can be all sorts of things. In this demo, it's when people sign up for the waiting list newsletter for this website for Chimp Essentials here. So it looks like in this time period from August 7th to 14th, 27 people signed up for the mailing list. And based on the number of page views, that's a conversion rate of 0.94%. There's no monetary value because it doesn't cost money to sign up for the newsletter. If I created a goal here and I created something for buying a product, I can associate a monetary value with it, which is pretty cool. But for this, because it's just the wait list, you can't do that. And like I said, you can create unlimited goals. So next, I'd want to show you an Easter egg. So if you click anywhere on these numbers, you can toggle between percentages and the actual numbers, which is pretty cool. So percentages, numbers. And it saves it. Um, if you come back and reload the dashboard, it'll save your preference there. 
The next thing you can do is go and add a new site. So you click on this add a site and you create a site, you get the embed code, you add it to your website. As you can see here, this account has lots of sites. That's because every Fathom account comes with unlimited websites. So all of your websites put together, the total number of page views count against your plan limits. But we don't limit the number of sites you can create. Just like we don't limit the number of uptime notifications. We don't limit the number of custom domains. We don't limit the number of goals. We don't limit anything other than we track your total number of page views and count that against your plan limits. So that's it. That's really how the Fathom Analytics dashboard works. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you'll check out a seven-day free trial of Fathom Analytics software. And I'll see you again on this channel soon. Bye.